Welcome to Mekana Island. It's the motherfucking weekend and I of course rented out a cabin. See, I don't like to flex, especially if I don't got it. That is not my cabin. The cabin that we got is actually all the way back there. Yeah, the shitty looking one. Welcome to our cabin. I'm gonna keep the tour short and simple because by the end of the day, what's inside the cabin does not fucking matter. It's what we do out of this cabin that does, okay? Got a queen size bed, probably for Gizmo. Got another queen size bed, yep, for me. And if Gizmo chooses not to sleep there, he can always choose to sleep in his bed from home, okay? I brought that shit. TV, voila, desk, voila. Got a fridge. Got the bathroom, some slight. <laughs> Got a lot of something right there too, you know? That's mine, don't worry about that. Oh, what I like the most though, this tub got jets and I'm gonna be milking up in that bitch, okay? I ain't lying to you. That's it, that's the tour. It is actually less expensive staying at Mackinac City or at St. Ignace. So that's what we did. We stayed at Mackinac City and now we're gonna get picked up from a ferry and we're gonna head over to Mackinac Island. Yes, y'all. I've heard lots of things about it. There are no cars, no motor vehicles, just horses and bicycles and just a whole lot of walking. I'm excited to go, y'all. You excited? Oh, you are so cute! <laughs> you had a haircut! Yeah, he did. Gizmo, you have to wait for me. It's okay. Gizmo's really confused right now. <laughs> See, this is the type of shit I like. I'm not a city type of girl. I like nature, I like adventurous type of stuff, adrenaline type of things, like jumping out of a plane, going bungee jumping. But fun fact about me, I also love history. I like to learn what happened in the past. So we went to the fort where they kind of took us back in history. I didn't show too much about it. Check out how they fired this cannon though. Ready, fire. After that loud ass bang, scared gizmo. <laughs> All right, Gizmo, we gotta go. We gotta go do something a little different here. So on the island, you can rent bicycles. You can bring your own, but if you don't have one, you can go ahead and rent one. And that's what we did. This was Gizmo's very first ride. Do you like the ride? Yeah? This is his first bike ride, guys. Let's keep on going. for miles and miles. There's always spots to stop at to just enjoy the view. One specific spot that's really well known is called the Arch Rock. And let me tell you, there was a lot of steps, okay? Steps. You're gonna make me carry you all the way up here because you're scared of heights. Uh -uh. Shit ain't right, Gizmo. This ain't right. You gotta help me out here. Gizmo, you gotta come up these steps by yourself. You're heavy. You look tiny, but you're heavy. Uh -uh. Oh my god, we still have a long way to go. You have me pulling you on the bike. You had me carrying you all the way up these damn stairs. Why is you out of breath? Boy, you better stop playing with me. I was about to quit, but we finally made it to the very top. It was beautiful. Yeah. Oh, they are. There's like a, oh, that's a road. Break time. After 
after eating that delicious meal, we had to stop at one of the shops to pick up some fudge. That is what Mackinac Island is known for very popular almost every other shop was a fudge shop and you know what i stopped at the one that we can actually see them make it oh i got it right here i got it right here we stopped at joanne's fudge that's the box right there i haven't even tried it y'all i took it home with me let me give it a shot there's lots of types that you can choose from I chose chocolate and walnut. Okay, look at this, y'all. Good mom, sorry, you can't eat this. Mm -mm. Look at that though. Look at that though. God damn. Let me try a little bite. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. This is it. Now I know why it's popular. Mackinac Island. I might come back to see you, girl. We slept really good that night. But we woke up feeling refreshed and re-energized. It was time to start another great day. We're about to hit the Mackinac Bridge because in order to get to St. Ignace, that's the bridge we gotta take. And I just found out that they are doing their first Pride Festival. And it's happening right now. And I'm missing it. So let's go. So I made it here and uh, it's a horrible turnout, guys. It's very horrible, it's bad. I don't know if you guys, you guys can see behind me that little tent back there. My family's gatherings are larger than that. I didn't even walk over there. I was like, nah, I, I mean, it's cute. I like the little rainbow flags that they have in the park. And I'm glad that they're putting some form of effort to do something. But this is St. Ignace. Come on, long thing. St. Ignace, Michigan. There ain't that many gay people here, and if there is, they ain't coming out. They're in hiding right now, okay? They still in the closet. You win some, you lose some. The whole point about experience is going out there and putting yourself out of your comfort zone and just explore everything that you can, even if it fails. And this one failed, so we went back to the cabin. I'm a little bit on the older side, all right? And, uh... When I'm out there for hours at a time, I need a little nappity nap. You had a good weekend, huh, my baby? You got so much attention. Everybody kept complimenting your little walk. I don't think any of you have seen Gizmo's walk. Usually you see him just standing, jumping, or whatever the fuck he's doing. But my dog stands out because he prances. <laughs> I think he's part of the community. He looks jolly. He's, he's got a little prance to him. And everybody, I swear to God, it had to be over a hundred people, kept stopping us and talking about his walk. It's like, oh my God, his little trot. They use trot. Oh my God, his little trot. And then you hear other people say, oh, he's prancing. <laughs> a couple people said, oh, is he a show dog? No, my, my boy just, my boy just, you know. You might be, Gizmo. Or you might be asexual because I have not seen you hump anything. I mean, you don't have to label yourself if you don't want to. He loves kids, he loves people, so he loves it when children come to him because he gives them lots of kisses. My boy loves people, I, on the other hand, don't. But because he is magnetic and the people just attract to him, they end up talking to me and then I end up talking to them. <laughs> Whoops, sorry. Too much love, too much love, okay. All right, so we're going to take a little nap, and uh, we'll see y'all in a bit. The thing about vacationing or going on trips, try not to fill your day with the planned schedule. You need time to just relax and to take it all in. If anything, just plan one or two things for the day, and then whatever happens, happens. We are back in Mackinac City. Don't get it confused with Mackinac Island. Two different things. We went to explore. The sun is going down a little bit. It, just, it was just perfect. It was perfect to end the weekend. Gizmo and I, we went to an Italian restaurant. It was actually hidden behind other restaurants. You gotta get the ones that are hidden. Those are the best kinds. And let me tell you, I chose the right one. I got spaghetti and meatballs. Oh my God, it was so fucking good. I've been to Italy and the Italian food here is not Italian food, y'all. 
But this was pretty close to it. And the second I sat down and got my food, these two elderly women who were sitting in front of me just came up to me and started to talk. So I learned that they were sisters. The one on the left used to be an actress. The one in the middle is an artist. And let me tell you, the sweetest women, man. I swear to God, I love old people. <laughs> one of the ladies actually gave me her business card with her phone number and her home address and told me if I ever wanted to come back that I have a place to stay. Can you believe that shit? I had to have a little talk with her though because she can't be too trusting of people. Luckily she met me. You know how many shows I've seen on ID Network? Uh-uh. When I left, they gave me the warmest hugs ever. I loved it. Well, that was my weekend, y'all. Mackinac City, Mackinac Island, and St. Ignis. I have to say, it was the highlight of my trip here in Michigan. My assignment here in Michigan is almost over. I have one month left to go. I already signed a contract to my next state. I actually had a couple offers from different states, but this is the one I chose. My last vlog that I make here in Michigan, I will reveal the city that I was in. I know y'all were thinking, y'all were guessing in the comments below and everything, but I will actually let you know where I was. And the reason why I don't say it right away is because it's for safety reasons. I ain't trying to get killed. I ain't trying to get raped because us studs can still get raped, okay? Stay tuned for another motherfucking vlog. See y'all in the next one. Peace.